Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It may look a little bit different or if you're an OG it might look very familiar but this weekend I am back in Bournemouth which if you didn't know is my hometown. I'm originally from Bournemouth, born and raised but I love it here and we're back this weekend because today is actually my dad's birthday. So we are heading out for lunch with him in a bit and then I think just chilling for the rest of the evening. I'm having dinner with my mum which will be really nice. I haven't been home in about well since Christmas I think and today's February 8th so like over a month and that's a very long time for me to be away from my mum like she's one of my best friends and I'm just such a homebody so I'm very excited to hug my mum which as a 22 year old is probably a bit of a strange sentence to say but there we go if you relate let me know because hopefully I'm not the only like mummy's girl out there sorry if that's a bit cringy but it's the truth um and then tomorrow I'm seeing all of like my mum's side of the family we're doing like a nibbly thing in the evening or afternoon we're all getting together just to hang out which would be really nice but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing so I've got this little headband which is probably my favorite headband actually from Pull and Bear and I believe it was like four pounds it was not very expensive at all but I really like it with the fringe I think it's like pretty retro don't know quite like it and then I've got this turtleneck which I think is from New Look I was actually given it, like donated it by a friend, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's just a grey turtleneck, very simple, and then I've got, as always, my trusty H&M mum jeans, although they're like really big at the moment, so I've asked my sister who's picking me up to take me to lunch to bring a belt, because it might not end well otherwise, but I'm going to grab some breakfast because it's about half past ten, and I'm so hungry, and I'm not going to be able to hold out until lunch because I will get very hangry like food has a big effect on me and I need to eat like ASAP back from lunch it was really nice we just went to the harvester down at Dirty Chine I think it's called like just on the beach which was really cute my fringe is just doing the most today um, but I had a katsu curry rice bowl which was delish highly recommend usually it's just like burgers and stuff there so I wanted to you know switch up a little bit it was really good but we are about to go charity shopping Christian is hiding around the corner I think he is hiding around the corner, hi. So we are off to charity shops, hopefully I'll find some cute stuff, but I'm just going to be nosy really, so let's go. It's Sunday now, I just had a really chilled night like yesterday, just hanging out with my mum which was really nice, and just didn't film was just catching up with her and really enjoyed it but today is Sunday and I thought I'd show you my items my goods that I got when I was thrift shopping I was really trying not to go thrift shopping in February just because I need to save some money really student budget is not my friend at the moment but I watched I can't remember who it was I'll put her name here I watched her video she's great I'm a new subscriber and she's fab but I just cannot remember her name um and she got some great items when she went thrifting I was like oh my gosh I have to go um so yeah I'm going to show you the bits I got which I'm really excited about I got four things um but I also just wanted to apologize for like the blue light we've currently got a thunderstorm and like like a huge huge thunderstorm at the moment it's called Kiara storm Kiara apparently um and it's hitting hard so this is as good as I can get I'm like literally face to the window right now and it's about as much light that's being distributed I'll show you this is what I'm currently looking at not the worst but not the best either so I actually went charity shopping with Christian which was really good fun we don't get to go together very often um I usually just pop in some by myself when I'm like doing my errands as I usually do so it was nice to actually like make an event of it I guess and just go to go to these charity shops but we went to the charity shops in Winton in Bournemouth and we went into about six or seven I want to say there's quite a few down there um but Christian got three things which I'm sure he's very happy with haven't asked him but he got them so he got a Levi shirt for like £8.50 which he's pumped about he got a who like band tee and oh just a long sleeve top that was in the pound rail so he was pretty happy about that 
but um, I was actually a bit, not upset, but I was like a bit disheartened because he was finding all this really cool stuff along the way and I didn't find anything until the last two charity shops. So we're going to start with Bernardo's, which is probably my favourite charity shop along that high street. I found quite a good, few good things in there, especially from, if you saw my last like huge thrift haul, a lot of it was from there. So I'll show you those bits. So the first thing I've got is very creased. Um, and they're all a bit hard to show you, so I will be trying these on, hence why I'm not ready for the day yet, because I wanted to show you these first. But I got this little blue long sleeve, like three quarter length crop top, and it's actually denim, like a really thin blue denim. Um, and it's originally from Zara, it's a Zara Basics denim couture, apparently, and it's in a size medium. Um, and I got this for £3, but I really liked it because it's pretty simple from the front. The cut is really nice, actually. But then at the back, it's a tie back. Like it's got a completely open back, which I thought was really cute, especially for the girls' holiday that I'm going on soon. It will look really nice to like, show off your tan. And either like with some patterned trousers or some white shorts or even like blue shorts doing denim on denim. I think that'd be a really fun way to do it because it's not like your typical traditional denim. So I thought that would be kind of fun to play around with. <laughs> The next thing I am obsessed with, and I actually think, oh, <laughs> frog, I actually think I'm going to be wearing it on Valentine's Day. Christian wasn't the hugest fan, but I'm a fan, so um, it's also really hard to show you. It's a wrap dress, and it just looks like this. It's kind of like, almost, not a cow print, but just, I just get it's like black and white spots, like white with black spots um, and it's obviously got the frill around the collar like most wrap dresses do and it just falls at a really pretty height um, and it's got a really long like string that you can tie around and round and round to really like cinch you in at the waist and I just think this is so cute and so flirty and what I loved about it, it was this extra detail at the back it's got like a hole in the back digging the backless vibes apparently um, but again really good to show off your tan like when I'm off in Ibiza or just for like a cute drinks with the girls because I don't really have many dresses that are like a bit more casual because obviously you could wear this with heels and dress it up with like jewellery and stuff but also you could wear it with like my Nike Air Force Ones could be really casual and fun for like a barbecue or I could even dress it with like combat boots and a leather jacket for like drinks in London so really versatile piece and this was £3 from Bernardo's and it's originally from ASOS I don't think I said that and I think it's a size 8 yeah it's a size 8 so it's like a little tight on the shoulders but because it's a wrap dress it's like pretty versatile with what size it is so really really love this then the last one we popped into was Naomi's house and I personally love this purchase, like I'm a huge fan, but Christian was like a bit low energy at this point, he was like yeah it's okay, and then I showed my mum and she's usually quite a, like an honest critic, she'll tell me if she likes it or not, and she was like yeah it's okay, I was like damn it, because I really like them, but I'm not sure if it's just they look better in my head than they do on person, so or in person, so you're gonna have to let me know what you think, but it's a pair of jeans, these were £4.50 and it doesn't actually say where they're, oh it does say where they're originally from, Avenue, never heard of it, it says 8 to 10 um, and it's these like elasticated waist at the back, really light blue wash, like straight leg trousers and they've just got like this seam down the front which I think is really cool but because they're kind of straight leg it gives you like a really kind of relaxed like 90s vibe, like I kind of feel like Hayley from Hayley's Corner when I wear these because she's like ultimate 90s vibe but I feel like these with like they touch the ground so I think they look really cool with like some white chunky trainers and a like little white graphic tee like tied I think it'd be so cute um but they're so comfy like the denim is so soft and because they're stretched like you can kind of get away with them being like a comfy trouser but I'm really excited to try and style these I don't have anything like this so I'm going to start with like some oversized t-shirts, some crop t-shirts, I'm not sure if I have any jumpers that will go with it but that will be kind of interesting, I can maybe even wear it with like a hoodie, um, but yeah these were £4.50, I'm not sure if I said that, but I don't know, we'll try them on, see how it goes, oh they've still got the tag, the original tag, it doesn't say how much they were originally though, 
Hmm, we'll see. But actually the last purchase was a bit of an impulse purchase as I was trying on these jeans and Christian wasn't really getting my vision I guess I was like no look I'll show you and I just literally from the changing room reached out and grabbed a white t-shirt from the men's section and it was this white t-shirt it says fearless and free with just these two red stripes and it's actually an Avengers t-shirt like never been worn still got the tag on it um, which I didn't know it was £3.50 and it's so soft, which is one of the main reasons I got it. It was just so comfy. It says 2012. Does that mean they've had it since 2012? Oh, 20th of February. Look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Mm, no, it says 20 slash 2, 20th of February, but I thought that the slash was a 1. That was weird. But yeah, this was £3.50 and it looks really cute with the trousers and I also think with like mum shorts or anything like that it's just an easy really easy t-shirt to style so I'm excited about that but I'll do some try on clips now and get ready for the day Everybody, it's still super dark and it's only like 20 past one which is ridiculous but I'm gonna start packing up because we are heading over to my nan's house at two o'clock Christian's currently at a skate park or like a BMX jump bike place doing that good stuff it's indoor so he's not getting drenched which is nice um, but yeah we're gonna head over to my nan's house at two and we're gonna have some nibbles and like see the family over there but I think we're going to go home straight from there. I'm a bit nervous about driving home because it is so damn windy. Um, so I think the roads are going to be a bit treacherous. Um, but I think we'll go home straight from my nans rather than coming back. So I'm going to pack up our stuff now so I can just bang it in the car. We don't usually bring that much stuff down with us so it's pretty easy to pack stuff up. But obviously we went thrifting so I've got to fold up that too. <laughs> So how cute is this bag that my granddad got me for Christmas which I only just opened? <laughs> it's like a little cute wicker one. So sweet! thought whilst we were here in front of the blue window as per usual I would show you my outfit so I've just got my little gold necklace which Christian got me for Christmas um, and then this bodysuit is actually from Boohoo I think and it's like a racer neck it's getting like a bit baggy though so it keeps like dropping which is annoying but never mind and then I've got this super cute little rust orange rust coloured cardigan from TK Maxx and then my blue Jamie jeans from Topshop. I really like this outfit. This cardigan's currently like my favourite go-to item at the moment. Um, but I just think it's really cute and fun and like casual. And I've just thrown my hair up into a top knot. But yeah, that's the outfit for today. We are home. I feel like all of my vlogs recently have ended with me lying in this bed. But that was kind of scary. Like, it's obviously storming, as I mentioned before. So the drive home was, like, a bit sketchy. But Christian drove most of the way, so it was kind of okay. But I had a really nice time at my grandma's, just, like, catching up with family. And it's always nice to catch up with family when you're home and you get the chance. So I wanted to, like, really make the most of that. So that was really lovely ate so much good food so don't think I shall be having dinner but it's currently eight o'clock I think or close to that 
So I think we're just going to chill this evening. I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen. Christian's showing our flatmates his like cycling videos and stuff. But honestly, I'm so tired. And I'm so excited to get into PJs and just like chill and put the fairy lights on and either read my book or watch Next in Fashion on Netflix. Which, if you haven't seen it, it's so good. It's Alexa Chung and Tan from Queer Eye. They're like the presenters. And it's basically like... It's really hard to describe. It's basically like, um, what was it called? Oh, there was one that was very similar. Project Runway? It's very similar to Project Runway. Like, they're in pairs and they have to design, like, couture outfits and everything. Um, and they have, like, two days to do it and then a the model wears it down the runway and they kind of get judged and then every episode someone goes home. It's really good fun. And me and Christian really like, like, competitive... TV I guess but especially when it's a bit arty because we're both kind of like arty people kind of really appeals to us so maybe I can convince him to watch one of those because that'd be really good fun but I'm also well aware that I've got a very full-on day tomorrow I'm actually filming tomorrow but I've got I will have to wake up at seven to go to the gym and then I'm not back until like five or six which I know for most people is every day like that's not a big deal but <laughs> for me who does seven hours of lecture a week maybe even six hours of lecture a week that's a lot <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna be a very fun day so i'm very excited about it but i just know like i want to take tonight easy and not push myself too hard and like start studying or anything because i know i have all the time in the world tomorrow to be doing that so yeah that is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed it it was a bit all over the place but i always feel like my home vlogs are my home vlogs are usually just for my reference just like what i did and like seeing my family and stuff and it's just nice to know down and remember but obviously not sure how interesting it is for you guys especially when i am just visiting family so it doesn't really feel like appropriate to whack out the camera or anything but hey ho that is this week's vlog one of this week's vlogs at least i'm sure there'll be another following this very shortly but if you have liked it for some strange reason please hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below because i'm currently posting three videos a week if you can hear the banging that is currently a thunderstorm outside my window wish me luck on getting to sleep tonight <laughs> see ya